In this video, I'm going to share some of the ideas I consider using to fix the problems I've seen in this design. Because the PVC pipe is not a continuous piece, it was cut in the center, therefore you see saggings. To fix it, at the center, I will be using a piece of could be a one inch diameter PVC pipe and then I will insert another three quarter inch in diameter PVC pipe in the front and at the back. And this will create a better continual structural strength to the gunnel. And I can create a small notch at the tail end of the PVC pipe and then secure it with the lashing so that it will not slide out. And each of these pieces can be less than four feet long. Another option is the middle piece, I can use a aluminum tubing uh, and PVC pipes at both ends. Then I get the spring snap clip and use it to lock all the pieces together. Since the PVC pipes wall is thicker and you may need some simple tool to disassemble it. The bending of the gunnel illustrated here can also be fixed by the method I talked about earlier. But I also have another method of fixing it, which I'm going to illustrate here and also show you the result. I added two more cross beams and also moved the lashing accordingly so that the stress will not be centered at the middle of the bolt and causing the gunnel to bend at the middle. You might have noticed this design allows different placement of the cross beams so that it will work with different arrangement of the seat and floor. I implemented this option because it's simple to do and I also have the cross beam from another project. I also reused the seat from another project and they are smaller than I would like to. If I custom make the seat and make them a little bit bigger and with a good fit and then the whole boat will feel much sturdy structurally. I made another canoe paddle and it's so much better than the first one I made. It was a nice day for kayaking except there were some gusty winds. For a canoe it actually works pretty well in such a windy condition. The simple fix I applied it to the gunnel works and there's no more obvious bending at the top rail of the gunnel. The whole canoe weighs about 30 pounds, which is still not too difficult to move it around. But after it's assembled, the 14 and a half feet long canoe is getting quite bulky. But I come up with a easier way to carry it and it seems to work out pretty well. It is the goodness of Crow Plus Boat. It's light and can be lifted out from the river very easily. In my future design, I should create a locker so that I can keep things inside the locker so that they won't fall out. I'm allergic to pollen, grass and a lot of stuff. Therefore, I usually wear a mask, especially outdoor. This is the final episode of this series, and I'm creating another series to give you tips in building corpus boats. And if you find this useful and interesting, please help me to promote this channel and subscribe and give me like. Appreciate that. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.